like changing the channels. Yeah. So swapping it out. So I'm telling George, I'm coming across in there, swapping channels in there. And it's straining up. You don't want to keep coming across, eating into it. <laughs> I founded Three Pillars Project because I was doing a lot of volunteering in and around London whilst I was in the army. A lot of the young men that we work with have a real sense of anger and have overcome some pretty substantial hurdles in life that many of us can't really relate to. And in many ways it helps us to understand why they've ended up in prison in the first place. That understanding doesn't seek to excuse that they're in prison, but it does help us to approach them with a more uh, informed and rational understanding of why they behave in certain ways. Three Pillars Project delivers rugby-based coaching programmes in prisons. We use former and serving military leaders as positive male role models. We've chosen to use rugby because it's a really strong sport to engage the young men that we're working with. We only work with 15 participants at a time and that's so we can give a very individual and tailored approach. Rugby brings about real increases in self-confidence, uh, improves self-discipline. It's also a really strong team and community sport. One of the key things that we do on the course is that we bring outside rugby teams in to play against the participants and actually realise that they're very relatable, they're just like normal people and I think that really does break down this perception that people have of prison and, and what it's like in prison and the sort of people who are in prison. Yes! It needs to be realised and sometimes these young men who haven't had father figures or role models they need support to realise their potential. There's lots of ways to get involved. So many employers don't want to employ ex-offenders and actually it's really important. We do give these people an opportunity to prove that they can make a positive contribution. And so that's something that we're looking for from, from people who are interested in what we do. Obviously this is an underfunded area and any ideas or opportunities that there are for, for funding would be great. Good, hit me. It really gives them an opportunity to set a new narrative for themselves through our support with rugby, but also working with a number of other organisations. We can help them to change their own lives. Sport can really help young men to make a new narrative for themselves.